everybody. This is Keith Gleason, host of Indie Comics Relay, creator of the Mighty Mascots, and promoter for the Plastic City Comic Con. And I'm back with another serial review. Before we get into that, just want to do a quick reminder that my all my comics are now available on HeroEnvy.com or RecklessSidekick.com. Simply go up here, hit click the store, check it out. We also have everything in the digital store and Global Comics. So you can go to Global Comics and check out the comics there if you're looking for digital uh, releases as, as well. And then a reminder that Plastic City Comic Con is happening on July 20th, $10 admission. And we just booked wrestling legend Jimmy Hart. So he's going to be signing at the show from like 10 to 4. And uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome. And look at the list is already growing for vendors and artists and comic retailers. So yeah, uh, definitely check it out. We're, we got some exciting things happening. I'm going to be reviewing Coco Puffs Loaded. Okay. <laughs> I uh, normally, I was going to pass this one up, but then um, a friend of mine, good friend, John Cimino had, uh, had texted me and said, Hey, you should check this out. And I normally I wouldn't review it because it's kind of just a variation of Cocoa Puffs, but I thought it was different enough that, Hey, why not? Let's try it. You know? So, so hang on one sec. I'm going to head upstairs and we will uh, pour a bowl out and, and uh, see what the cereal looks like. All right. We'll be right back. Hey everyone. So I'm upstairs with the cereal. Let's pour it and see what it looks like. All right, so they look like squares, but they're thick. Let me see if we can see that with the camera in focus. Let me crack one open and see if we can see the insides of it. So as you can see, there's a little bit of cream or something there. All right, so we'll head downstairs and I'll grab some milk and we'll try this bad boy. All right, back in the studio in a flash. All right, we are back in the studio. I just poured some milk. Um, sorry about the audio there. My bird loves to get in on the action when I'm uh, filming upstairs, if you couldn't tell already. But um, I poured some milk in and now I want to try this sucker. So, all right, here goes. Let's get a nice, uh, nice spoonful with milk here. Mm, it's good. I um, I'm a fan of cocoa puffs. I haven't had it in a long time. I don't normally buy it. It's been a while since I had it. This though, it reminds me of if you if you've ever had um, that cookie. It's called like sugar wafers. I think Keebler makes it, and a few other places. It's got like a nice crunch when you eat it, and the, like the sugar in it is sort of like um like a hardened sugar, but it tastes really good with the, you know, the cookie that's on it. That's what these taste like. That's interesting. You know, the box shows it looks like it's kind of like uh, creamy, you know, like um, like the the middle of a, like a Twinkie or something or like a Ho-Ho, you know, things like that. But it's honestly more like powdery, like, you know, even when it, we looked at it in the, when I was pouring it, it's very powdery. And um, maybe I didn't let the milk sink in enough. I don't know. Maybe it gets a little softer and more like, you know, what's showing on the, the front of the box. But no, I mean, I, I mean, sugar wafers are good. I, it was one of my favorite cookies. I haven't had those in a long time either. Um, but yeah, that's what it tastes like. Now, I noticed that General Mills did did this also with Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Fruity Pebbles. Is, or not Fruity Pebble, Pebbles, Tricks. So I may, I don't know. I wonder if those would be all right. Tricks probably is a lot of fun with that fruit taste. And then um, of course, cinnamon toast. Yeah, it's probably, maybe I'll try them both down the road. I'm not going to review them, but you know, I figured out of all the three Cocoa Puffs probably had the better taste with the chocolate and the cream. I thought it would, you know, go well together rather than a fruit and a cinnamon taste. So, but now that I know it's like a sugar wafer, it might taste good with those as well, you know? So 
but yeah, I give it, I give this cereal a thumbs up. I think it's worth checking out, especially if you already like Cocoa Puffs, Tricks, or Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I think you would like this loaded version. You know, it's different. It's like a square shape, like you saw in the, when I went upstairs and poured it. It's not like the round shape like Cocoa Puffs usually is. Cocoa Puffs is usually like a kicks. You know that cereal kicks where it's just round balls, you know, because that's what Cocoa Puffs usually is. But um, also in these reviews, I love to take a look at the box. So um, here's the front of it. You know, nothing crazy. I mean, I always like seeing uh, Sonny the Cuckoo Bird on there, you know, as long as his eyes are bugging out and he's looking like he's nuts like he is in the commercial. That's always a fun thing. But besides that, the box is kind of boring. Um, you know, nothing on the top, just loaded. Uh, you know, we got nutrition facts on both sides now, which is wild. It's a little more than the normal, uh, you know, serving a cereal, like one cup is 180. That usually, that's usually, usually I find like one cup is like about 140, 150. So this is a little higher level. I mean, I can see why it's like a you're basically eating a sugar cookie, you know, <laughs> as cereal. Uh, nothing on the bottom, just the loaded logo. And the back is very boring, too. Living cereal rich. You figure with, like, a new version of their thing that they would do something interesting with it. But, you know, most mostly today, most people don't do don't do uh, anything with the artwork, you know, like I, I the closest I've seen something different is, you know, the Captain Crunch doing like something for the hundredth birthday celebration, you know, by putting like some puzzles and stuff on the back. But I find that today most cereal boxes are very boring. There's no prizes, you know, it wasn't like in the eighties when things were awesome, you know, <laughs> so but um, it has a website here, so I uh, I, I want to let's go check that out as well. So I give the box before I go to the website. I give the box like D plus, C minus. It's not great. It's just serviceable. I mean, I guess at least they didn't put the same image on the back that they have on the front, which I've seen some cereals do that. And I don't know why they got like the Burger King crown here. That's a little odd to me, you know. Um, but yeah, no, cereal tastes good though. If you're thinking about trying it, just think sugar, sugar wafers. But yeah, let's go check out the website here. Uh, this is loadedcereal.com. And they it looks like they have cocoa puffs. Uh, this is what the tricks one looks like. You know, that's loaded with the tricks rabbit. And then they also have cinnamon toast crunch. So you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, they need to get a better uh, mascot than these, like, sugar wafers. They're not good. They're just kind of boring. Just look like a stupid emoji, you know? <laughs> but um, they saw that they have merch here. I can't wait to see what this is. Let's take a look. Shop merch. Oh, my God. <laughs> a loaded robe <laughs> complete with cereal pockets. Oh, my God. Maybe I should get that. You know, I'm walking in the bedroom, uh, see how Amy reacts to uh, my loaded uh, robe with cereal, you know, pockets. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me see in the back. Oh, it's just pictures of people enjoying. I want to see Luke's collection. Gold. Cl I have no idea what this jade. Cl what, is, what is this? Gold collection. Oh, it's different versions of the robe. Once it can, can, the kit includes one crown ball, one robe with food safe snacking packets, one spoon, jade roller, all the loaded cereals. Oh man, very weird. So you get a spoon. Oh my God. Cereal rich. This is, can you imagine buying this? Like who would buy this? It's so bizarre. Oh my God. And they, oh, wow. Well, oh, my God. They don't even have 2X, 3X. They must be sold out. That is crazy. 50 bucks. I, you know, I love cereal, but I don't love cereal this month. That's for sure. <laughs> um, so, verdict, uh, let's see. You know, cereal's good. Give it a thumbs up. Worth checking out. Uh, cereal box, I give a thumbs down. Very boring. 
Although I got to say the robe is kind of funny on their merchandise. <laughs> so I wonder if this is going to be a permanent part of General Mills cereal, if it's just a limited, limited time thing. It doesn't say on the box that it's limited. So maybe it's uh maybe it's something that's going to stay for a little while, but I guess we'll find out, you know, in a few months if it's still around. But I hope to do more of these cereal reviews. I just haven't seen any new cereal in a while. Like uh, when I was there at the store last week, they had the the uh, the Peep cereal, you know, from Easter. But I already reviewed Peeps uh, a year ago or so, and um, it doesn't look like it's changed all that much. So I'm not going to review it again. Or they'll do something like, uh, you know, like Easter cereal. Like they, they take the Reese's, uh, Reese's cereal that's, you know, the round peanut butter and chocolate circles. And they just change a shape in there and like make it look like a rabbit or something. But it hasn't changed the flavor at all. So I just don't feel like that is warrants a review. But this where it's actually seemed to be like a, a brand new cereal, which is an offshoot of a regular brand, seemed like it. You know, it was on the edge there, but I figured I'll try it, you know, and maybe do a review. And I'm glad we tried it. Glad we bought a box. I may try the other two down the road if they still have them. But right now I'll 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 work on this for a little while and then when I'm ready, I'll try the other ones. But all right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in for this serial review. As always, like, subscribe, share this channel. We're at 950 subs, so we're getting close to that one. K mark so any help you guys can give and spread the word on the icr channel also join us every other monday night for indie comics relay live with me harry and johnny as we interview creators we're going to be do going three weeks in a row starting next monday and in between the the, the middle episode is going to be a writing we're bringing in three writers including me and johnny so five writers all together and we're just going to talk about the the craft of indie comics writing. Should be interesting. Should be entertaining. And three of our favorite people. So join us. And, you know, like as always, uh, have a great week. Read some comics. And we'll talk to you later. All right, everybody. Have a good one.